Hey y'all, Steve here. And before I forget it, this is the week of Thanksgiving 2016. I'd like to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. I hope it's great. Don't eat too much. We had our Thanksgiving last weekend, so uh, we're all through the turkey and the ham and the dressing. So this coming weekend, while y'all are stuffing your face, I might be going fishing. Yet to be determined. But anyway, hey, today's video is where I installed the Hobie square rectangular hatch to replace the Hobie Outback round hatch. I've never liked that round hatch, so I ordered up the equipment, and I have now installed that square hatch. I love it. So I'm going to just take you through this install in case you want to do the same. There are other videos out there, of course, but this is just my take on it. The whole process might take you maybe an hour or less, and you, you don't need much tools. You'll need a skill saw or a Dremel or something like that to cut the plastic on the kayak, but, um, you know, it's pretty self-forward, self-explanatory. It's not hard to do. So uh, let's, let's get with it here on the video. Um, there's just a uh, shot as I'm removing the hatch. What I'm doing here, I'm just uh, making a couple marks from the center spot of the round hatch. When I put the square hatch in, I just want to know where the center is. Just gives me an idea where to line it up at. Right here, you've got the bottom plate of the hatch. You want to flip it over and you want to trace the outline. When you actually go to install it, what you see there with the channel all the way around, you're going to flip that over and you're actually going to use the flat edge on the other side once you place it in the hole that you're getting ready to cut. So just take a, uh, a marker and trace around it and that's going to be your guideline to use your skill saw and do your cutting. Now that I've got everything drawn, get out the old skill saw and just start cutting. This is the hardest part of the job. I mean it's just gonna, it's kind of awkward and the old skill saw that I'm using, I couldn't hardly see where the blade was, so it just took me a few minutes to get all this done, and I would caution you right here, just take your time. You know, you don't be in a rush. Just take your time and do it right. Right here, I've grabbed the Dremel to help me cut out those little cutouts. Now, the, these little uh, half circle cutouts towards the seat are the only ones you need to cut out. Even though you're going to trace the other two towards the front of the kayak, these are the only two that you really need to cut out because this is where the latch is going to fit and uh, close the hatch. So just keep that in mind. As you can see, you see the, uh, the black marks towards the front I just went straight across there no need to cut them out and I'm just using a Dremel to do a little cleanup all right we're cooking now just lay it in seeing how everything's gonna look and make sure my holes correct this thing's uh, looking good now right here I'm just gonna pre-drill these holes with a uh, drill bit make sure that you're using a drill bit smaller than the screws and the screws are number 10 3 quarter inch stainless so just get you a little drill bit smaller than that and go ahead and pre-drill all your screw holes here I am just putting in some screws in the corners just to go ahead and have that part done and just uh, taking my time making sure everything's lined up and looking good Right here I flipped the hatch upside down and taken the little rubber gasket, placing it inside there. Uh, go ahead and take in all the little junk out of the holes so I can see everything and make sure all all's going to line up when I flip it over and put it into the kayak. Now in this shot, actually this is the next morning, and I, I, it was getting dark so I stopped. I've already got one screw started on that bottom plate. So 
like I said, make sure you flip it over. The flat edge goes against the bottom of the kayak deck. And here I am just lining everything up, taking my time, making sure all the holes line up, getting everything in there. You can feel with your hand if you're, you have hit the hole. I'm doing the corners first. You know, when you're tightening up, you can feel that plate draw up against the, uh, the hatch there. So you're just about done when you're at this stage. Okay, Steve, finish those screws so we can wrap this video up. I bought the bucket. I was preferring to have the bucket, but I also have the tackle tray as well. I wanted the bucket just to throw all my junk. Tackle, wallets, whatever, drinks. There's the tray itself that fits in there. It'll hold these Plano boxes. So that's it, y'all. If you got a spare hour, I'll put links to everything down below and um, where you can order this. Like I said, if you got a spare hour, you can add this square hatch to your Hobie Outback. I'm Steve. I hope this was helpful. Remember to subscribe. Share this video if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.